Thank you for buying Robomo from Friendly Robotics, the simplest, safest, and most convenient way to maintain your lawn. It's simple. All you have to do is press a button and Robomo will mow the lawn for you. It's convenient. Robomo gives you free time for other more productive things. Robomo is an advanced battery-powered electric mulcher, making it environmentally friendly as well. Robomo will cover the entire lawn, including mowing along the edges. There's no pre-programming necessary. Your Robomo mulches the lawn and buries the small clippings into the grass, creating a natural, healthy soil nutrient while eliminating the need to collect the clippings. Robomo. It mows. You don't. It's important to read and understand all operating and safety instructions in the manual before operating Robomo. Robomo comes fully prepared. Only a few easy tasks need to be performed in order to enable its operation. All the accessories needed to set up Robomo on your lawn are supplied with the product. The following are included with Robomo. Perimeter switch, perimeter wire, pegs, robo ruler, power supply, charging adapter, operating and safety manual. The first step is to determine the best location for the perimeter switch on your lawn. It is recommended to mount the perimeter switch on a wall or fence in a dry and sheltered location. Choose a location that is relatively easy for you to access and that is close to a wall socket. The perimeter switch is supplied with 5 meters, 15 feet, low voltage cable that needs to be connected to an indoor power supply. If you are setting up more than one zone, you may purchase an additional perimeter switch as an accessory. The perimeter switch may also be moved between zones using the mountain stake. Insert the mounting stake into its slot at the bottom of the perimeter switch. Be sure that it is mounted vertically in the ground at all times. It will be too early to activate the perimeter switch at this stage. If you do, however, the wire disconnected light will illuminate and a beeping sound will start. This is because the perimeter wire loop is not yet connected to the perimeter switch. To turn off the perimeter switch, press the on button continuously for three seconds. In normal operation, it will automatically turn off after a few hours. Starting at the perimeter switch location, pull the wire ends with a plot connector out of the plastic covering. Peg the beginning of the wire to the ground where the perimeter switch will be located. Be sure to leave 30 centimeters, 12 inches, to close the loop at the end of the setup. Start laying the wire to the counterclockwise direction. When standing inside the lawn, lay it loosely along the lawn edges. Start setting the perimeter wire by placing pegs every few meters and at the lawn corners. Use the robo ruler provided to set the correct distance from the lawn edge as shown. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, pull the wire tight. It is essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Use the entire length of the robo ruler as wall edge as shown. Remember that you will want to test the wire setup before you fill in additional pegs. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. When the edges of obstacles are too low or too soft to be detected by Robomo bumpers, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be parallel and touching. Apply the same method for flower beds, young trees and ponds. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Proper setup of the wire will assure better performance of your Robomo. 
please refer to the perimeter wire setup chapter in your operating and safety manual for more details. The last step to complete is attaching the perimeter wire ends to the perimeter switch. Once the perimeter wire is completed and pegged to the ground, the last step to complete is attaching the perimeter wire ends to the perimeter switch and testing the setup. There are two loose wire ends where the perimeter wire setup was started. Use the same peg to fasten these two perimeter wire ends down to the ground and twist them. Cut the wire end without the connector so they are of equal length. Discard any excess wire. Strip back 6 mm of insulation from the wire end. Insert the free perimeter wire into hole of connector using a small flat screwdriver. Tighten the screw to secure the perimeter wire into the connector. The two parts of the connector are easily connected and separated in order to use the perimeter switch at additional plots. If correctly connected, the on light will blink.